Hey guys, it's Jasmine, your Tuesday host here on the Spellbound Heathens, and this week our topic is to create our own god or goddess. Um, you're not going to see an intro from me this week because this is going to be a completely unedited video. Hopefully I can keep it kind of short because I don't have too much time. Uh, that reason is because I'm moving again. Um, the good news is, however, I'm staying in the same building. We're just moving downstairs. Um, we live in a very old, uh, it's like a hundred-year-old house, and it's actually made into an upstairs and downstairs apartment. Um, and the people downstairs moved out, and it's a little bit bigger, so we're just going to uh, pack all our stuff from upstairs to downstairs. Um, so it should not take too long, but we do have to paint everything again. Um, but we're going to try to get that done today. But anyway, I'm going to try to get to the library before all of this starts happening. Um, if I don't, it will be uploaded on Wednesday. Um, so I created a goddess. Like I said, I didn't have too much time. Um, I am an artist, so I could do like a million times better than this, but I just drew it with crayon in about ten minutes. So <laughs> hopefully it doesn't look too bad. But I created a goddess. Um, and her name is Maya Coda, which, I, if I remember correctly, means moon in Cherokee. Um, and this is what she looks like. Hopefully you can see it. She's uh, a mother goddess, so she's pregnant. Um, she's got white hair. I know it looks gray, um, but I didn't have the silver that I wanted to shade it. Um, she's got blue eyes. Um, she's a little on the bigger side. Um, it, like I said, <laughs> I didn't do a very good job. She carries a willow wand. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and this is the, these are the things that I wrote about her. Um, she is a primor primordial goddess uh, born of the elementals. Um, so she, she wasn't born of another god or goddess. She was one of the first to come around. Um, she's the goddess of the night. Um, and as I said, she's a mother goddess. And she birthed each of the stars and planets. She carries a wand of sacred willow with which she puts the stars in motion. Uh, she is a goddess of prophecy, divination, and magic, as well as transformation. I didn't write any kind of myth or anything, but I would be interested to explore doing that type of thing. Um, because I read so many myths, I think it may be something I would be good at. Um, but I've never actually gotten around to trying it. I was going to do something like that with this, but like I said, I just didn't get around to it. Um, as you guys probably saw, um, we were not here for two weeks. That's because we took a two-week break off to kind of regroup um, and get ready to start a new season going from the summer into the fall. Um, so, as always, guys, if you have any topic suggestions or any questions at all, you can send us a you can leave it in a comment on one of our videos. You can send us a message here on YouTube, or you can email us at spellbound.heathens at gmail.com and put something like topic request or video request in the subject line, um, so we know what it is and it's not just spam. Um, but that's it for today. So I guess we will see you next time.